How to create NFT art designs with Canva. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll be telling you how you can create your NFT art designs using Canva. Well, this is totally a, like a free platform, but you can also like opt for their uh, paid features. But in order for you to start doing your uh, design, go ahead and make your account. It's easy as one, two, three. Just go ahead and click uh, sign up with Google or you can actually go ahead and input your email if you want to. So after you've done that, you can just go ahead and click a few items over here. Okay, maybe later. All right, so once you've done that, you'll see a couple of options of, of what you're going to do. Are you going to do like an Instagram post or what? So let me just go ahead and try to put in like a custom size, but apparently I can't do that. So there's no other way around it. Let's just go ahead and try to click on a uh, preset that is actually here already so let me just go ahead and look for the most proper one for our nft design okay so i think i'm gonna go with yeah that one with poster but hmm, wait you know what i think i'm going to like do a square one because apparently I cannot resize this unless I sign up for their free trial. But let me see if we can do it. Okay, so there's no... Okay, let me just go ahead and see if we can actually resize it. Oh, apparently we cannot. Like, we have to subscribe to their free trial for, that, for us to do that. But we want, like, a... Uh, square type of uh, of layout or canvas so let me just go ahead and choose Instagram post over here and once we've done that here we go so as you can see here on the top bar you can actually add page or there's also like a sidebar over sidebar over here where you can choose from a lot of elements right here like lines and shapes graphics photos and videos well uh, Wow, you can actually add videos, you guys. So it's pretty cool. But we're, we're looking forward to like um, make a design for our NFT art. So it says here that you can drag media or upload or connect to an account. So we'll just go ahead and try to drag it because I think dragging is a lot faster and it's a lot more convenient for, compared to when like you're uploading them one by one. So now as you can see, once you you start drag it, it will automatically be uploaded right here. Okay, so what you want to do next is to drag the NFT art over over here. So this is what we'll, we'll be working. We'll, we'll work with this NFT art. It's the neon cut art. So what you want to do here is you put the details of the NFT. You can go ahead and lay it out anywhere that you want. But most importantly, you got to put the name of the NFT. Those are the more, or those are the most important parts. Name of the NFT. You can also add a QR. Well, it's really easy to use Canva, you guys. Just go ahead and uh, make an account and then try to explore it out on your own because actually that's what I'm doing right now as well. But um, yeah, I, I'm actually doing it so you guys don't have to do it if you don't like to use Canva. But if you're if, but if you're liking how it's working right now, well, definitely go ahead and try Canva. So now once I laid out the NFT art like that, let me just go ahead and try to add in a text so the text should be like the heading over here so let me just go ahead and input the title of the nft well i'm not, i'm not sure exactly what what's the name of this nft well let's just pretend that i minted it from OpenSea or from any platform so i'm just go ahead and edit the name and let's just give it this name neon cut right here as you can see once you type in it immediately shows up over here you can drag it everywhere so once you click out of the box apparently you can always click it back unlike any other editor so when you click outside of the box you cannot go back anymore so that's like a problem when it comes to some design applications out there that once you click outside the text box you really cannot edit it anymore and that's really awesome so you can actually choose from a couple of fonts over here, which are really cool. But uh, let's go ahead and stick to what we have here. And then, yeah. After that, you can also like go ahead and uh, put in a shape where you want to like put in the text so that it will be a lot more readable. But I don't think the colors are ma matching right now because like... Um, uh, we already have the blue over the rainbow and it's really striking and the colors really don't seem to add up 
And uh, what I'm going for here is a minimalist style kind of style. So let me just go ahead and try to look for other options or what are, what can we actually do with Canva over here. So apparently when clicking this fonts over here, it doesn't really change the font that you already typed. So um, uh, yeah, you should take note of that. And as you can see, once you click a font over here, it actually go, like shows you this couple of, uh, couple of yeah, uh, text right here. You can see on the picture. Well, let's try to see what else we have here. Oh, you can actually choose the color palette. And this one looks really nice to me already, but we'll, we'll just go ahead and just remove these things. Okay. Wow. I accidentally like clicked a lot of things over here, but that shouldn't be a problem as long as you go ahead and just delete them. And there you go, guys. As you can see, I think I found the right font and design and style for this particular NFT. It's looking pretty minimalist, and that's what I'm going for. And next is let's go ahead and input the QR. It's really important that you put the QR overlay it into somewhere like light colored. So that way it can be scanned by like a phone or what. Because if you like put this and uh, and uh, like overlay it in a dark color, of course, the QR code is black. It won't be able to like uh, get scanned by your phone. So make sure that it's overlaid on top of a light color. So let's go ahead and just add a subheading. I'm just actually throwing in things that I just randomly think of. So it's Nian Meow, okay. So let me just go ahead and put that over there. Hmm, I think uh, the design is a lot overwhelmed right now. So let me just go ahead and try a different layout for this. So hmm, let me think, what should we do with this one? Hmm. Okay, I think I want to preserve like the rectangular shape of the NFT a little bit more. So let me just go ahead and try to like uh, preserve that part so that a lot of people can actually look at the details a lot more. So this is it. So let's just pretend that I minted this from OpenSea. And I, ha I have some videos you guys actually explaining how can you mint a and how can you flip NFTs in OpenSea. Okay, so let me just expand that right there just so they like match. Okay, I think think the design is looking pretty well already. What do you think, you guys? I think it's pretty neat, but let's go ahead and experiment more. Let's go ahead and move it closer to the picture, this bar. And let's move it a little bit further from the title and the subtitle over here, or subheading in this heading. Okay, and let's move it closer to the center. Okay, I think this one looks pretty amazing already. It's, it looks pretty professional. It looks neat. It's really cool to the eyes. It looks really, really relaxing. It doesn't really overwhelm the eyes. And like a while ago when like this NFT is like full blown, full screen a while ago. But right now I think it's looking pretty amazing. Let me just go ahead and extend that until it reaches the edge, top edge of the photo of the NFT. And uh, let me just go ahead and adjust the cure as well a little bit. Ooh, okay, I think it's done. I think this one's pretty good, you guys. Go ahead and try it out for yourself and let me know what you think down in the comments below. So that's it for this video.